Welcome to the professional development course, Autism in the Classroom, brought to you by Kayamishi Tech's Workforce and Economic Development. In this video, we will cover What is Autism? Signs of Autism by Age Teaching other students about autism Activities that are challenging for children with autism Classroom strategies What is Asperger's Syndrome? Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. Some people with ASD have a known difference, such as a genetic condition. Other causes are not yet known. Scientists believe there are multiple causes of ASD that act together to change the most common ways people develop. We still have much to learn about these causes and how they impact people with ASD. People with ASD may behave, communicate, interact, and learn in ways that are different from most other people. There is often nothing about how they look that sets them apart from other people. The abilities of people with ASD can vary significantly. For example, some people with ASD may have advanced conversation skills whereas others may be non-verbal. Some people with ASD need a lot of help in their daily lives, others can work and live with little to no support. ASD begins before the age of 3 years and can last throughout a person's life, although symptoms may improve over time. Some children show ASD symptoms within the first 12 months of life. In others, symptoms may not show up until 24 months of age or later. Some children with ASD gain new skills and meet developmental milestones until around 18 to 24 months of age, and then they stop gaining new skills or lose the skills they once had. As children with ASD become adolescents and young adults, they may have difficulties developing and maintaining friendships, communicating with peers and adults, or understanding what behaviors are expected in school or on the job. They may come to the attention of healthcare providers because they also have conditions such as anxiety, depression, or attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, which occur more often in people with ASD than in people without ASD. Professional evaluation is crucial to diagnosing autism. Please follow all institutional protocol when reporting. By six months. Few or no big smiles or other warm, joyful and engaging expressions. Limited or no eye contact. By nine months. Little or no back and forth sharing of sounds, smiles or other facial expressions. By 12 months. Little or no babbling. Little or no back and forth gestures such as pointing, showing, reaching, or waving. Little or no response to name. By 16 months. Very few or no words. By 24 months. Very few or no meaningful, two-word phrases, not including imitating or repeating. At any age autism can present with the following. Loss of previously acquired speech, babbling or social skills. Avoidance of eye contact. Persistent preference for solitude. Difficulty understanding other people's feelings. Delayed language development. Persistent repetition of words or phrases in echolalia. Resistance to minor changes in routine or surroundings. Restricted interests. Repetitive behaviors, flapping, rocking, spinning, etc. Unusual and intense reactions to sounds, smells, tastes, textures, lights and or colors. It is very important to communicate with the parents or guardian of the child with autism before any sensitivity training is done. The teacher or school psychologist leading the class discussion should reach out to the parents or guardian of the child with autism to understand what they are comfortable with in terms of disclosure. Some families may be comfortable with general sensitivity training and acknowledgement of their child's strengths and challenges to the class, but not with sharing the autism diagnosis. Other families are more open about their child's diagnosis and are willing to be active participants in the education and sensitivity training. These are personal decisions that each family must make and schools should honor. These decisions can also change over time as the needs of the student with autism may change. It is also important to keep in mind that some families may not have told their children about their diagnosis yet. Some children may know that they have autism but may not want to share their diagnosis with their classmates. 
Again, these are individual decisions. The other consideration to discuss in advance is if the student with autism will be present during the sensitivity training. Some families want their children be active participants in the training process, and others might prefer that it's done when the student is out of the classroom. Many schools have found it helpful to have a parent, caregiver, or school representative who knows the student well introduce the student at the beginning of the school year, or during a new inclusion opportunity. If the family or team feels that protecting the student's privacy is important, the student may not even be mentioned by name and general sensitivity and acceptance may be all that is addressed. Out of respect for the student, a more specific introduction can also be done when he or she is not in the room. It is important to present the student as a person with unique abilities and similarities of family, siblings, pets, love of music, favorite foods, video games, movies, etc., while also sharing some of the challenges and differences the students might notice or need to be aware of, such as sensory needs. Activities that are challenging for children with autism. Multi-step directions and activities. Following verbal directions. Organization skills and following the schedule. For younger students, circle time, since it generally means sitting, listening to auditory information and verbal output. For older students, classroom lectures that require sitting, listening to auditory information for long periods of time. Centers time for younger students or independent work for older students, since this involves academic tasks, sometimes unclear expectations, following directions. Free play for younger students, because it involves social skills, cooperative play and verbal skills with very little structure. Group instruction. Assemblies, music and PE classes for students with sensory issues. Strategies for classroom success. Be calm and positive. Be a good role model for other classmates. Be aware of your students' specific needs and general strategies. Promote a welcoming environment and provide opportunities for your student and others to develop social interaction skills and extended learning. Teach understanding and acceptance. Pair the student with peers who are positive role models. Allow times for students to work in pairs and or small groups. Be aware that students with autism can become isolated within the classroom, interaction only occurring between an aide and student, and be on the lookout to prevent it by working with the students and the paraprofessional to support social exchange among peers. Asperger's syndrome AS is a developmental disorder. It is an autism spectrum disorder ASD, one of a distinct group of neurological conditions characterized by a greater or lesser degree of impairment in language and communication skills, as well as repetitive or restrictive patterns of thought and behavior. Other ASDs include classic autism, Rett syndrome, childhood disintegrative disorder, and pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified, usually referred to as PDD-NOS. Unlike children with autism, children with AS retain their early language skills. The most distinguishing symptom of AS is a child's obsessive interest in a single object or topic to the exclusion of any other. Children with AS want to know everything about their topic of interest and their conversations with others will be about little else. Their expertise, high level of vocabulary, and formal speech patterns make them seem like little professors. Other characteristics of AS include repetitive routines or rituals, peculiarities in speech and language, socially and emotionally inappropriate behavior and the inability to interact successfully with peers, problems with nonverbal communication, and clumsy and uncoordinated motor movements. Children with AS are isolated because of their poor social skills and narrow interests. They may approach other people, but make normal conversation impossible by inappropriate or eccentric behavior, or by wanting only to talk about their singular interest. Children with AS usually have a history of developmental delays in motor skills such as pedaling a bike, catching a ball, or climbing outdoor play equipment. They are often awkward and poorly coordinated with a walk that can appear either stilted or bouncy.